Today we're going to go over how to link the options you create on Customly to a product on your Shopify account. So we're going to use this notebook as an example. And as you can see, we're going to create a text input field, uh, two font options, a white and gray font color options, as well as two different color options for the notebook itself. So first things first, we're going to add a product on Shopify. Give it a name. We're going to call this notebook. We're going to add an image of the notebook. And then we're going to continue to fill out this page the way we would for any of our other products. We're going to save the product. And right now, if we hit view, this is what it'll look like. As you can see, there are no customizable options. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to go to Apps, Customly Options, and here we're going to go to Option Sets. And we have to create a new option set for the notebook. So we're going to name this new option set Notebook, since we're going to link it to this the notebook product. And the first type of option we're going to create is the text input field. And I'm going to label that text. And I'm going to give it a maximum length of characters of 12. And then go to Customly Functions and add a function. And I'm going to select the function type as a text function, since we're dealing with text here. And as you can see, the text ID box is going to pop up. So now I'm going to go to my Customly app, look up the product template that I've already created on Customly. and I'm going to click into the text element that I've created here. And just so you guys can see what it does, I can type a name in here, Martina, and as you can see, the unique ID is number one. And so we're going to go back to Shopify and put in the text ID as the number one. Now we're ready to add another option. And this option is going to be the font type, so we can actually make it a drop down type of option and we're going to label it font type or maybe font options and now again we're going to add a customly function and we're going to select the function as a font type since that would that's what it is and now we're going to go back to the customly app and we're going to see that there are two different font options one and two and they are both still under the unique idea of one because they still are referring to the text element. So I put in the text ID as one, and now I'm going to add the drop-down values. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in font one and the number one for its position, and font two and the number two for its position. And the positions are referring to what we just saw as the font options on the Customly app. Now we're ready to add in another option. And this next option that I'm going to add in is going to be the text color. So I'm going to make this a drop down menu as well. I'm going to write in text color. Add some customly functions. Select text color. And since it is still under the unique ID of one, because it is still a text element, I will be putting that in for the text ID. And here you can see our two different color options, gray and white. White is on one and gray is on two. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some drop down values, white being one and gray being two. And just to double check that, looks like it's all right. I'm going to save that. Now I'm ready for my final option, which is going to be the physical color of the notebook. And actually I want to make this one a swatch just to switch things up a bit so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to name this notebook color. I'm ready to add in the customly function. 
And here I'm actually going to select dynamic image since I used a dynamic image when I created the template on customly. And since this is a, its own element, it's going to be under a different unique ID, the unique ID of two. And here under position, I can see the, the two different color options, one being yellow and two being green. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the unique ID as the image ID for two. And I'm going to do yellow as the value name. And this is where I get to have a little fun with the swatch by selecting a color, or I can even put in the hex code if I know it. I'm just going to double check that that is indeed image position number one. And green would be number two. And just to double check that, that is indeed number two. So I'm going to save the option set. And now I'm ready to link the option set to the product I just created earlier on Shopify. So I'm going to go back to the customly options and select products. Find the notebook. And you see initial product ID. This is where I have to exit out of the template and to get the special embed code, which I'm going to put here to link the option set to the product template. And I'm going to go down my list of option sets and select notebook, which is the, the name I gave the option set that we just created together. I'm going to save that and now it's ready to preview. So I'm going to refresh this page and as you can see now we have a bunch of different options that make this notebook customizable. And this is how Customly works its magic. Clients get to see these changes live as they create them.